Hello! This tutorial will show you how to use the HR front-end feature using the WP ERP's HR module. Go to the HR front-end extension and install the pro version of the WP ERP plugin. The link for this is in the description box below. The HR module is usually shown from the back end, but you can also manage the basic profile of your employees from the front end. So just go to the HR frontend in the top corner. This is what the HR frontend will look like. We will now discuss each of these menus of the HR frontend extension. The overview gives you a snapshot of your company's HR profile. Under Employees, you can find employees who are active, terminated, deceased, resigned, and deleted. You can also filter your employees based on the designation, department, location, and employment type. The button in the top right corner lets you add employees by setting their profile. You can also click on an employee's profile to find detailed information on their job, leave, notes, performance, permissions, and documents. When you click on Department, you'll see all the departments of your company. You can also add new departments by setting the department head and the parent department if needed. In addition, you can see the designation of your company. Just like before, you get to also add a new designation on the HR front end. The HR front end extension lets you make quick announcements. Click Add New Announcement to set the title and the details. You can be specific on who will receive this announcement. The reporting menu lets you view reports on age, headcount, gender profile, year of service, and salary history. The last option in the menu is Documents. You can create a folder with a name and then click on it to upload a file. And that's it! This is how you can use the HR Frontend extension. For more videos on managing your business activities on your WordPress site, be sure to check out WP ERP and subscribe to our channel.